The concept of monitoring medicine safety has existed for far longer than most people realize. Early examples show how serious consequences were often preceded by meaningful change. For you, understanding this history will help you gain a better perspective as to why modern pharmacovigilance shifted from a reactive approach into a proactive approach that emphasizes prevention, transparency, and accountability. The idea of tracking medicine safety can be dated back to the late 1800s. In 1893, the Lancet Medical Journal called on doctors across the British Empire to report anesthetic-related deaths. This became one of the first organized efforts to collect and analyze adverse medical events. Two tragedies in the 20th century shaped modern drug safety. In 1937, a toxic solvent in the sulfanilamide elixir caused more than 100 deaths in the United States, leading to the 1938 Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. In 1961, the thalidomide disaster caused thousands of birth defects worldwide, revealing the urgent need for systematic post-marketing surveillance. The World Health Organization responded in 1968 by creating the Program for International Drug Monitoring, linking countries to share reports of suspected adverse reactions. In 1995, the European Medicines Agency was established to oversee medicine safety across the EU. This was followed by the launch of UDRA Vigilance in 2001, a central database for adverse reaction reports. The introduction of EU Good Pharmacovigilance Practice Modules in 2012 further standardized processes across Europe. Today, pharmacovigilance combines scientific evaluation with advanced analytics. Real-world data, artificial intelligence, and predictive signal detection tools now allow earlier identification of potential risks, often before they reach patients. This evolution from reacting to harm to actively preventing it captures what modern pharmacovigilance truly stands for, protecting patients, strengthening trust in medicines, and ensuring that every safety decision is based on evidence and accountability.